Hi, I'm Dr. Smith. Welcome to my teaching module about Doppler flow studies during ultrasound. We talked in the ultrasound teaching module about things we measure to make sure the placenta is functioning normally and how we measure the baby's head and the baby's abdomen and see how the baby is growing in a normal fashion. Let me talk for a few moments about the waveforms we can see in the umbilical cord and in the baby's brain that help give us reassurance or warning signs. This is the normal wave flow for a healthy baby. When the baby's heart beats, this is in the baby's umbilical cord, when the baby's heart beats, the blood flow goes faster when the heart contracts, but even when the heart is relaxing, there's some elasticity of the vasculature in the umbilical cord and it keeps the blood flow moving. So even when the heart is relaxed, there is diastolic blood flow and that's this portion of the waveform. Now when the placenta starts getting diseased and the vasculature gets stiff, the blood flow at that point in time can go away. So we can have what's called absent end diastolic blood flow. The placenta is getting a little bit rigid, the vasculature is getting a little bit rigid, and so it isn't flowing the way it does normally when it's elastic. And when it really gets stiff and brittle, then we have reverse blood flow when that stiffened vasculature actually pushes backwards. And with reversed end diastolic blood flow, that's a critical warning sign and we know we need to monitor that baby and probably move toward delivery pretty soon. And so with these types of images, we can identify how well, how healthy the placenta is, how well the blood flow is going to the baby and get reassurance in that regard. Now we talked in the earlier module that the body will preferentially shunt blood to the brain if the baby doesn't get enough oxygen and nutrition. So let's look at brain vascular waveforms. This is a healthy waveform, and it has much the same elements as the umbilical. A, a systolic and a diastolic flow, that means the blood is flowing even when the heart is relaxed. The brain is different though. We see increased diastolic flow when the brain is in trouble. Now over here, as the vasculature got stiff, the diastolic blood flow went away. In the brain, when the brain is starved for oxygen, the brain actually opens up and lets blood flow when it normally does not. And so the diastolic flow, when it increases, is a warning sign that the body is shunting more blood to the brain and the brain needs more nutrition and we need to identify why that is true. So these waveforms that you will see when Gina and Jamie do your ultrasounds are indications of the elasticity and the dynamic nature of the blood flow through your baby and they are useful tools in letting us monitor your baby and make sure he or she, he or she stays as healthy as possible. Thanks for joining me. Have a healthy baby. Thank you.